Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm Luke W, and I'm back again with another quick video today. We're actually going to be doing a little bit of a live stream, so I wanted to cover with you guys two of the best kind of product research methods that I've found. And as of lately, I've been studying in a uh, new Amazon course. It's pretty extensive. And one of the things I like about it is that, is that it teaches you how to really learn the manual ways of researching on Amazon before actually using all the softwares like Jungle Scout because you know if all those softwares run around it's nice to be able to research manually same thing goes for you know driving a manual car compared to an automatic you get more feel for everything when doing it that way so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys exactly how I'm gonna start searching manually first off using Amazon bestseller rankings on products to basically find profitable products. So let's hop right into it. First thing we're going to want to do is go to amazon.com and we're going to actually want to sign out. So that's going to make sure nothing is in the, uh, now we're not, we're completely signed out. So I'm not having any of my normal uh, search criteria in Amazon. This is all basically I'm signed out. So here we go. Uh, what I'm going to now do is do the uh, keyword search for, let's see, I'm going to actually go do a negative keyword search, which is going to bring up every product in Amazon's catalog. So doing like this, I'm going to press search and immediately we're going to have every product in Amazon's catalog and you see we have over a hundred million results. Now, the first thing we're going to want to do is pick a category. Uh, I'm going to minimize this real quick and kind of show you guys some recommended categories from the course I'm looking at. Uh, so pretty much the categories with an asterisk next to it are kind of, they require some more approval. So like beauty, those are also products I'm going to show you guys a little bit that you can actually find domestic suppliers in whatever country you're in. You can sell on Amazon in any country from any country. and uh, But if you're sourcing beauty products, you're going to want to actually find products uh, in a from a domestic supplier, not pretty much from China. And uh, I'll pretty much show you how to do that in a little bit. But these are some great categories that you're going to want to start to look for your first products in. So uh, I like to look in actually, we're going to go check out Home and Kitchen first off. And another thing I want to show you guys as well is the recommended bestseller ranking ranges. So you're gonna we're gonna want to look for products. We'll go down to the home and kitchen category, and we're gonna look for a primary product around 350 to 7,000 in a ranking. Now, if that doesn't make too much sense to you, let me go ahead and pull this up. So we're gonna go down now into the let's see where it is here, home and kitchen category. And from here, I have actually downloaded a free tool. It's up here. It's called DS Amazon Quick View. You can go to Google and download that. And it's really cool because you'll see it shows you right here uh, number two in kitchen and dining. Number seven, it gives you all the bestseller rankings. And you can even hover over it and it will show you the item weight. Uh, this is far too heavy and the dimensions. So again, when we're sourcing for products, we want to find something under three pounds, not too big over here again, something really light and small, something that can basically fit inside a shoebox. Hey, thanks, Yusuf. What's up, man? Uh, so having something lightweight is going to be not only uh, cheaper when shipping from China into the United States, but it's also going to be less cumbersome in the Amazon uh, warehouses where if you have a large item like around this size over a foot, you're going to be charged more for your storage fees. So we're not going to want that. Again, guys, this is the DS Amazon Quick View uh, app. I, I went to the Google Chrome store and got it right for free. Shows me all the bestseller rankings. So now what we want to make sure we do again is go down to the price. And we're going to want to find something, uh, I'm going to go $18.99 because there's a lot of products out there around $18.99 that you can still have a nice profit margin with. And we're going to say the max price is $70. And then we're going to refine our search here. Uh, so we still have 100 million results as you can see since we've done in the home and kitchen category a negative keyword search. This is going to search for everything that is not this crazy thing. 
which is going to pull up everything in Amazon's catalog now uh, in the price range we're looking for. So if you guys remember, I went back and showed you this video is a live stream, so it'll play over again so you guys can watch in a bit. But I'll sh I'm now looking for a product uh, between a number of 350 and 7,000. So right out the gate, I see this product is $19. That should be enough uh, room for a nice profit margin to be made here. So uh, headboard, let's see, headboard bracket set it to. Let's see, product dimensions aren't too big. It's under three pounds. Let's click into this. And basically what we're going to do here is take the main keyword, headboard bracket, and always we're keeping in mind, look, this guy's doing a set of two. We could do a set of three, a set of four, and kind of differentiate because as we're going to see here, we're going to want to beat out our competition with whatever the heck we're doing, guys. So headboard bracket, we're going to do a broad search here. I mean, this guy's got 20,000 reviews, but then some of his competitors, I mean, 45 reviews aren't too high up. This is just a quick example, but I'm going to use Jungle Scout. This is a paid tool now, and it speeds up the whole process a lot more. I use this as now as a supplement, but you can see the sales volume right here and the reviews. Reviews are pretty low. I mean, if, they're, if it had higher sales volume, I would maybe think this is a viable product but you can see the best seller ranking except for this top guy is really low so these guys are not getting a lot of sales i would not do this product so we'll exit out of that and just go back and keep searching and now one thing i've learned from the course i took i also want to show you guys i've made a hot opportunity product list i haven't started filling it out yet but when i do find products i'm going to put the Amazon URL right in here the main keyword I'm looking for so what we just looked at was a headboard bracket the category which would be home and kitchen and the price of it the best seller ranking which was a thousand and three we just saw and then I'm gonna add two competing products in here to kinda keep tabs on those and put the reviews there as well because reviews are one of the biggest indicators of competition for a particular product so let's go ahead and uh, shoot through here a little bit uh, this looks too heavy. Water filters. You don't want to be selling anything that is uh, uh, kind of like an accessory to another item, like an air purifier model that's... No, we want to find a product that's small, lightweight, that we can private label and put our own logo on and uh, be a competitive seller in the Amazon market space. So let's go ahead and keep on looking here. In the home and kitchen category, we're looking. So let's see, Green Mountain Coffee. So not really trying to sell some coffee. This looks like a one-off brand kind of guy, but it is in the right uh, search range for us here. iRobot Dual Virtual Wall Barrier. Hmm, iRobot. This may be a special brand of its own. Let's go check it out. Dual mode virtual wall barrier. Okay, so we're going to take again the broadest keyword. And actually I can see this with all these numbers, it looks like it is part of just a uh, specific product. And I don't think there's going to be a lot of people just selling this thing. Um, so you see iRobot, iRobot. So when there's one seller dominating, we can quickly see in Jungle Scout. You don't want to jump into a product when there's one one brand repping the whole thing. That's not good. So hop out of that guy. And again, guys, you can go right into uh, just Google and say, let's see. You can go into Google and say, I just want to find an Amazon private label checklist. So there's all these checklists out there that you can find your star rating and see like what products are going to be selling the best. And you can kind of rank, is the sales rank under this number? Is the average price between this? There's so many ways you can go out and find a viable product. But the whole point of this business, everything else is not too hard about it. But finding the product is the whole cumbersome part of this. And that's when you just have to really be uh, just uh, like really methodical and just 
go through everything, every page, even in the beginning when you see products with 4,000 reviews, the, the competitors may not have that much, so you want to just keep on going. Uh, this neck pillow, what is this? 6,000 reviews. It's looking a little competitive. Let's go ahead and keep browsing. Commercial ozone generator, seventy dollars. It's in our uh, BSR price range. It's in our BSR range. So let's click into this, and you never know. Ozone generator. So we're gonna go copy, open in a new tab the main keyword, so we can get an overall gist of every one of these products. We can see we found. All of these, they're selling at a pretty high uh, premium price. So if we could find these uh, on Alibaba, that's going to be a nice seller. So reviews looking very low for everyone. And the reviews are, I mean, sales are kind of uh, not too high. But when you look at a price, $70 and you're getting 50 sales a month, uh, 60 sales a month, that's, that's uh, quite a bit. I mean... Even with 57 sales a month, you're looking at $4,000 in revenue. So, And if you're competing at the top with this guy, getting 1,200 sales, you're looking at 90000 a month in revenue. So it all depends. And that's when we would hop over to Alibaba.com and type in that uh, broad keyword and pretty much see uh, what kind of price point we can get. I'm going to keep looking until we find a pretty good product. And then I'm going to use the Google Fee Calculator or Amazon fee calculator and show you guys exactly how to calculate your profit. So let's keep on going here. These things are big. I mean, a bedspread too big here. So we got 400 pages. This is the stuff that separates uh, people who, I mean, this is some hard stuff. You got to keep looking and looking. And this is what can separate uh, lazy people from the winners in this business that want to like really go through every single page and find something amazing. So vacuum sealer, 1600 reviews, three pounds, $60. It's in our criteria for best seller ranking. It's in the 350 to 7,000 in BSR. So let's go ahead and try this one out. Vacuum sealer. Boom. All right. Let's run Jungle Scout again. I'll have Jungle Scout linked down below. You guys can check that out. Uh, but again, we see nice sales and reviews are just competitive with uh, about a handful of people so anyone under a hundred reviews you can totally compete with them and when you're looking for a product really think about how you can market it outside of just Amazon guys because if you can build a Facebook page if you have an interest with this product already and you can uh, you're interested in cooking and you have a little cooking uh, Facebook page you can start posting recipes and then say, hey, this awesome product helps seal my uh, food up and keeps my recipes that I made all nice and fresh. And you can leave that on your page or in a Facebook group and people are going to come click on your Amazon link to that product. And you're going to start getting sales. Once you hit that first page, as you can see here, you're going to be averaging 700 sales a month out of all that uh, sales going on right here. So... I kind of like this product a little bit. I mean, it looks like everyone just has about the same pictures and everything. So from this point, I'd want to go in and actually see uh, how nice their listings really look. And I mean, this does look like quite a bit of competitive of a product. I mean, they even have a video in here. So to have a video on your product... Along the LED. You have to be like a verified brand seller. They have a couple of variations with different colors. So these guys are kicking some serious ass out here. Uh, my product is being shipped as we speak. 
Firebird, let's get it, man. That's what I'm talking about. So this product looks a little crazy. Let's go check it out on Alibaba anyway. Vacuum, the vacuum sealer. All right, let's see what let's see what these guys are running for on it. Let's see what this is going on for. Uh, these look like some serious industrial ones. This is kind of what we we're looking at, forty one dollars, and it's selling for sixty bucks. So, not too much profit to be made in there. Let me just show you guys quickly how I would calculate uh some profit just for any of you guys who aren't familiar with this. Uh, so I would come down. We're going to simply grab their ASIN. Oh, these guys are totally brand verified. They got the sweet product description going with all their pictures in there. So probably not going to hop into this thing. But you're going to type in FBA fee calculator. Put in the ASIN of a product. And boom, you can pop it up. This is pretty much the same exact thing. Uh, we're looking at on Alibaba here with this guy and that's going for $41. Okay. We're always going to want to fill the Amazon fulfillment category out. So this guy is, uh, let's see, the cost of the product is $41 shipping to Amazon. We'll just say a dollar because if we're buying in bulk, we're going to be paying for that altogether. And the item price, we can sell it for, let's say, $60. So this is not nearly the kind of uh, margin we'd want to make. So I'd be looking. I'm kind of skeptical about this. I feel like we could find some of these for cheaper. I mean, they have many ones for $15 to $20. But if you want a real high-quality product, like, yeah, $39 for these vacuum sealers, um, that's a bit expensive. I want to see a net profit margin somewhere 35 to 40 to 50 percent at least. So this is five percent. This is not worth our time. We can't even advertise uh, without losing money on this thing. So let's get the fuck out of here and keep keep checking it out. Thanks for everyone tuning in so far. By the way, guys, uh, really happy. For uh, the three homies sticking out, but this video is going to go up on my channel afterwards. So if anyone's looking kind of for more uh, of some product research methods, you guys can check it out. But pretty pretty much, I'm just using the Amazon DS Quick View free Google Chrome uh, program here. And I'm going through and looking for a small, lightweight, viable product. Uh, and you know, it, it takes time and this is something you want to avoid. Some of these thermoses, they have a lot of empty space in there and shipping a lot of those can, can be a lot. Um, let's see. Foam wedge. Whoa. What is this? These guys might even come vacuum packed when they ship from China. So you never know how that's going to play out, but uh, let's go ahead and check this out. So we can see, let's see, this is a sponsored product. That's a sponsored product. So this is the number one seller here. And if we look below, we have a couple competing products. Uh, this one and this one are, are sold by the same person. So we can kind of just look at this guy and this guy. These would be our competing products. The reviews are too high. I can say that right out the gate. But, I mean, yeah, and the sales, pretty consistent across the board. Reviews are just a bit too competitive, though, you know? One thing I'd say about the uh, Jungle Scout extension, you can click this button here, and it pulls up a ton of keywords right off the gate, so you can use those in your back-end keywords. But this is just kind of giving you a look at using the DS Amazon Quick View to scroll through the pages and uh, look for some profitable products. I've seen these. I've actually traded reviews with some people selling this exact product. You can see the item weight is just a couple of ounces. It's really small in dimensions, uh, but 
these have been going selling for quite a while now and i did see them on the jungle scout web app so a ton of people have already kind of hopped on that the whole point of me doing this is so i can find products that no one is really looking at so there's ways that i mean 400 pages here and you can find hot new releases there's a ton of different ways you can find products here but uh, I'll show you guys a little tip by the way because these first seven and eight pages I mean first top ten pages the reviews are going to be absolutely insane so if you even go up here you see page equals eight you can change that to page equals 300 and we're going to go ahead and shoot right back to page 300 and we can see reviews are nice and getting lower out here and we're on page 300 as we speak just show you guys that so we're on 300 that's a quick little hack for you guys another way I mean in the beginning you're gonna see a lot of competitive products we could come over here and click one category down further in the home and kitchen category to uh, get a little bit more specific hey what's up Jesse Gonzalez so we're just checking out some products here today uh, using the DS Amazon Quick View Chrome extension here. It's pretty much a free download. You can get it, and it shows you all of the free, I mean, all of the uh, the bestseller ranks for products. And I was showing the guys earlier who tuned in kind of the product categories and the different bestseller ranks that you're going to want to uh, look for the numbers in. So, I mean, this is too big, but that is in our uh meets our criteria for the bestseller rank for this category uh so we're checking it out here a little bit more um i mean home and kitchen you're gonna find some big things some small things some not so selling things but uh it's it's interesting i want to kind of with you guys just i mean this is we're going to jump in a little deeper here just so we can uh, maybe find something a little more niche specific. And you can see how the if you're looking for products, you might want to click this grid view. And it helps you see more products faster. So I kind of like that. And let's go ahead and blow through here a little bit more. I can just tell right out the gate, like a lot of these products are pretty big. Um, let's see here. I mean, it takes time. <laughs> Skip over to page three. Just checking in, but I'm going to watch from the beginning. Hey, no problem, Jesse, man. This is just me kind of hopping in here. I mean, I could make a really quick five minute video on this, but. I just wanted to stick around and uh, bring you guys some some talking to and just say what's up to you guys. I mean, it's been a little bit of time since I've done a little live stream, so it's nice to hop on to one of these. Um, Let's see here. Yeah, what is this? KitchenAid Flex Edge Beater. Interesting. Pretty lightweight, 4.6 ounces. Flex Edge Beater. Interesting, interesting. And I mean, we see this has 2,700 reviews right out the gate, but honestly, this could just be a bestseller, and some of the other products, some of the other competitors may not have that many reviews. So that's why we're going to check this out anyway. And again, we're going to uh, supplement here with the Jungle Scout Chrome extension. So what the two kind of methods are is what I was showing you guys basically. And this looks like a pretty good product. I mean, sales numbers are there, but the price is a little bit lower for some of these. I want to make sure, yeah, these are all the same product. People aren't really bundling, it looks like. They're just selling one thing here. So if you uh, sell this and it looks like it's a beater that you would beat up some eggs or something like that, I don't know. You can include a couple other objects. And look at this. This guy's getting 600 sales a month, 
$10,000 in revenue with 22 reviews. Absolutely insane. So, and everyone here, every brand is pretty much different. I mean, uh, we got KitchenAid. That's a big brand. But there's a lot of other competitors in here. Who is a a Zara like or Maggie Gift? So these guys uh, are no name FBA sellers, just like me, and just like you guys, and they're making bank, 15k in revenue. So I want to go take that keyword. I want to plug it into Alibaba.com. I want to check this out. I want to do a brand based on Airbnb business. Ooh, that'd be pretty cool, Jesse. That would be very cool. So it looks like, dang, that's good. Yeah, so no, I'm looking at this product. It's only 4.6 ounces. You could probably order a ton of these. I'm not seeing any prices from right out the gate. This could be like a brand new release. I mean, I've never even seen this thing before. I'm going to click in here, and they're not really giving me a price point for this. Kind of bumming me out. But when you're talking to your suppliers, I mean, you can ask them if they sell other complimentary products. Like, I want to go into this, and friend's trying to go to the indoor pistol range tomorrow. Sounds fun. Sounds fun. So we can see there's other bundled items. Now, building a brand, my guys. So if you get in some home and kitchen category, you can get this egg beater thing, and then you can uh, sell... I mean, what even is this? A pouring shield. So you finish battering your eggs, beating your eggs, and then you're going to pour it out of the bowl. Uh, and this thing might help you pour into the bowl with that. So if you have a brand and this is your product and this is your product, looks like KitchenAid is selling both of these. So customers might come and say, oh, I'm, I actually need to buy one of those right along with it. So customers can come here and buy both of your products if you have a brand with multiple products in the same brand. That's what I'm trying to get into. So uh, there's there's so much more we got, we got planned on the way, guys. I don't even know. So let's see. Uh, I'm going to exit some things out here. But yeah, this is this is pretty nice. Um, I like I like these sales numbers. And the reviews are very low, so this is not too competitive. <laughs> yes, we like we like uh, getting that target practice on, man. So as we saw here, this guy is pretty killing it with uh, a really low BSR. Number one is the best seller, obviously. So th 3,900, this guy's up there. He's still making a lot of sales. But it's someone we can still compete with. I mean, 22 reviews, guys. So, pretty interesting on the products here. I mean, if I brought the... I was trying to go into the fee calculator and see what kind of profit we could make. Let's go see uh, if we can actually find a price on Alibaba. Anyways, guys, how, how are you guys doing tonight? Like, everyone dropping in tonight? Anyone got comments? Where are you guys all from? I'm out here in Seattle, Washington. It's been so rainy lately, guys, but uh, I'm actually getting flown out to California to teach some Amazon FBA. I got a sponsored trip. Literally February 3rd to the 12th, I'm going to be out there, so it's going to be absolutely nuts. But uh, I'm going to be documenting all that. I don't see any more of that product, so I would literally have to uh, contact this these two suppliers selling this intricately weird product I've never seen before and uh, see what they can do for me there. Another little tip, if you guys didn't already know, you want to make sure you're uh, checking gold suppliers whenever searching in Alibaba and at the bare minimum. So these guys are the ones that have at least been selling for years and years. Uh, they have trade assurance you can pay through here. If they run away with your money, Alibaba's got your back on all that. But I don't see a price for that product. So that's something I would put into my uh, my Google numbers, my, my number sheet here, and put the URL, the keyword, and I'd build my list and come back and see if it's a more viable option as time goes on. So, I mean, I kind of like the looks of that guy. So let's, let's keep looking. 
just kind of maybe find one or two more. And uh, if you guys ha have any other questions, just feel free to drop them. But yeah, I just want to bring you guys a quick video. Uh, yeah. Moscow meal mugs. These things, these things are pretty cool. I bet they're pretty competitive now. I saw those on Jungle Scout a while ago. And wow, I mean, I found that product on just page three. So, and it had those great reviews. So, I mean, they're out there, guys. Uh, let's see if we can find something lightweight, small, not electronic, not easily breakable. Um, with some low reviews and high amount of sales with a good price point. That's pretty much what I'm out here looking for. Um, going to browse a little bit more here. And let's see. The original donut shop. This looks like a branded, already a branded thing. So we're looking for some generic type product. And there's different ways you can sell on Amazon. You can sell... Retail arbitrage, that's like buying an already branded thing, a Mickey Mouse thing, and selling it. That's the lowest amount of profit margin you can make. Then you can get into re, uh, private label where you take a cup and you put your own logo on it and sell it. That's more profit margin. Then you can uh, do some product... Uh, what do they call it? The It's basically not cust fully customizing it but it's uh, kind of changing basic things about it. So like that cup I just showed you, maybe have a little uh, pouring spout on it or something. Just uh, add a little something to it to differentiate and you're going to see higher profit margins. And if you're straight inventing a new product, that's the most risk, but you're going to have the biggest profit margin with that. What's up, Element? Yo, Element skateboards are my wall back there. That's what I used to be skating back in the day, man. Let's go see if we got anything else out here for you guys today. Look for small, lightweight products. So, whiskey glass, you know, it could be breakable shipping from China. Could be breakable shipping from Amazon to the customer. I would stay away from breakable products. I buy a lot of pot, uh, pods, coffee pods, dishwasher pods, laundry pods, body wash pods, shampoo pods. Pods are cool. I actually heard something on the the radio, and there's like a new game. You know the cinnamon challenge game when people would put cinnamon in their mouth for like a minute or something, or the ice bucket challenge. There's now like a literally a freaking laundry pod challenge where you put a laundry pod in your mouth till it explodes and kids are doing it. I just heard it on the radio. I'm not doing that stuff, but uh, I thought it was a, a pretty crazy kick. So let's see what else we got. Don't want to have any uh, kind of additional products like that. Accessory type products. Vegetable slicer, old version. Interesting, interesting. Looks small, lightweight, pretty simple. The listing is not high quality here. They only have one bullet point. They, but there's 52 people selling this. So this may be a patented item. Uh, I'm going to make a video just really looking into patents and kind of explaining everything out for you guys. But if I look here, I don't really see... Okay, I see a few different brands selling that type of product. And they're selling for 20 bucks. So let's go ahead and run some Jungle Scout on this guy. I see we do have a lot of kind of different products in here, but this is what we're looking at. He's getting 480 sales a month with just 50 reviews. Uh, yeah, Jesse, don't go, don't go swallowing those pods, man. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you know this this product. I'm not getting enough searches for it, so I'm gonna hop out of it. I mean. I'm thinking this thing's already kind of patented. It says it's the old version. 
It's got 50-something people selling on it. And, yeah, so we're going to stay away from that. But uh, let's see if we can just find one more good product. This is just giving you guys some uh, some insight on how how we're doing product research here. The very manual way, rolling through Amazon, looking for a bestseller rank and a with what looks like a nice lightweight product, and and that's about it. Okay. Anyways, guys, it's a Saturday evening. I hope you all are having a great night. I'm just coming back at you again today with another video. <laughs> um, Yeah, all these things looking pretty heavyweight. Now, the Jungle Scout link I have below, for those of you who have not heard about that yet, you can get the web app. It's a $40 a month kind of thing. Uh, and you can put in filters to actually find products. So right now I'm, uh, but the only thing downside with that is that people are going to maybe find the same products that you're searching for. So using this manual method is going to make it so you don't really, Hey, what's up? Katie Wilkinson. Uh, yeah, pretty much using the jungle scout web app compared to this manual mode of searching uh, the web app, people might be finding the same products, but the pluses with it is that you can uh, just filter out products. Like, I'm looking at really heavy things here. This thing is 12, 12 pounds. I mean, it's way too big. This is not something I'd be wanting to search for, but uh, that's what takes time and separates uh, some of these big sellers from the rest that just uh, kind of want to look at what everyone else is selling. So... I mean, we got 400 pages. We're on page nine. So it's, there's so many different things, so many different categories. There's a hundred million products in this category. I mean, I don't know, seven million products in the kitchen and dining category. So absolutely insane. So much opportunity out here. Being able to sell from anywhere in the world with a, with a Wi-Fi connection. I mean, who, who, who wouldn't want to do it? So, uh. You're welcome, Jesse. I'm glad I could uh, help you out here with a little bit. But uh, some wine tools here. The wand wine filter. Interesting. They got some nice packaging. It looks like they're advertising here. Pretty nice listing. 70 reviews. The wand wine filter. Interesting. I'm going to take this uh, broad keyword and we're going to search it up. But I have a feeling this product uh, is maybe patented and sold by one person. So it looks like Pure Wine is just about the only person selling this thing. Yeah, and then this is these are different products. Okay. That is what I suspected. Let's see if we can find another, another hot toddy in here. I mean that that whisker thing that we or that egg beater we found was pretty pretty nice. Crazy sales numbers on that and really low reviews. Really lightweight product, but we couldn't find a price for it on Alibaba, so that was giving me some red flags. But maybe it's such a new product that uh, people haven't really been even asking about it so much yet. So uh, again, we have the uh, price points here that you want to make sure you put that in. These are, this is the profitable price range. Anything below, I mean, there's always exceptions to the, to the rule, but I always look to sell some at least $20 or more, nothing over $70. Cause then you really have to contemplate if you're sitting behind that computer, am I going to buy this? You're going to put in more research to looking for that. Um, travel foldable electric kettle. I'm not trying to sell electrical products. There's a lot of uh, problems that could happen with those. And I'm just looking for something really nice and simple. However, this portable, what the, mini personable portable oven. What? All right, let's just check it out. Very interesting. 
I mean, when you're selling in the U.S., the weirdness factor of products is what you're going to have to be looking for because if you're selling something really generic like headphones or a phone case, there's 80 million people out there selling that stuff. But if you're selling some weird portable oven, looks like this is the only seller here, Hot Logic. So uh, we wouldn't want to really hop into that. We need more demand in the marketplace okay let's keep checking it out and yeah i hope you guys are all having a great evening if you got any plans uh and want to let us all know i'll give you guys a little shout out and let you know let me know what you're doing i'll i'll share it with the world <laughs> uh, okay let's go through a few more here Hard Candy Nostalgia. Looks like a little kind of a big set there. Um, let's see. I like this. Looking very simple. Uh, however, if that's like a steel plate, it might be a little heavy. Uh, let's check it out. And we're going to supplement with using the Jungle Scout, checking out some sales and reviews here. So, let's see. Mr. Oster, that is just a straight up waffle. So, it looks like these uh, little plates may be just an accessory. So, I wouldn't really maybe want to sell an accessory type product. That's a bummer. That's a bummer. But uh, you can see, guys, you can sit here and, I mean, once you make your list, throw it all in here, build uh, a list of 20 products, and just keep the list growing, and you never know. So let's see if we can see a little bit more in here. Let's see. Hmm. Sorry if this is taking a little bit of time, guys, but we're out here. We're, we're grinding, guys. We're grinding. Uh, digital kitchen food scale. And it's in the criteria of the BSR range for this category, so let's check it out. Let's check it out. Oh. Oh, and they got the portions display? Alright, let's do it. Okay. So, yeah, there's a couple of these guys selling this thing. Uh, some pretty low reviews. Let's check it out. Uh, digital food, kitchen foods, digital food scale. I'm going to try and broaden this out a little bit. Uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and broaden this guy out. And looks like we're getting just a few more results in here. Yeah, that's what I wanted to see. Some more results. I have a list set up under my account with the products I buy most frequently for my Airbnb biz. If it's all good, if it's good for what I do, I'll save it. Yeah, man, that's the way to do it. But this product, not enough demand. This guy has a almost 10,000 sales a month. Uh, but, you know, he might have a brand elsewhere. He might be promoting on YouTube. He or she might have a Facebook group, things like that. But uh, going on 45 minutes here, guys. So I just kind of wanted to recap for you guys one more time what we're kind of doing here. Uh, I'm looking at the BSR ranks for the different categories and I'm finding products in the ranks and that's going to justify me to say this product is getting the right amount of sales and it's got high demand. Then I want to look into the size, weight, dimensions, uh, the simplicity of the product, all these other factors 
and pretty much checking out the different categories uh, beauty, automotive, health and personal care. Some of these are harder to get into, but it could be worth it in the long run to hop into these because less sellers may be selling in there. So anyways, guys, I'm happy for you guys that had stopped by tonight. I'm going to bring more professional content to you guys pretty soon, but I just wanted to hop on here. It's been a little while since I've hit up a live stream. So thank you guys all for watching. If you like the video, and you stuck around this long, please just throw a thumbs up for me. I'd be really hyped about that. And anyways, have a great rest of your evening. And we will see you guys soon. Uh, stay classy, my friends. Peace out.